Just wanted to explain to you guys the differences in focus between visible uh, light and infrared light for uh, SLR lenses. Since SLR lenses are designed for visible light photography, they behave completely different in IR. And uh, there is a shift in focus from visible to IR. So for example, if you were taking a picture and you were shooting on a subject right here and you have a bunch of backgrounds, uh, basically the focus would be somewhere uh, behind the subject or in front of the subject, not on the subject. And depending where you are in the zoom range, the amount of focus shift forwards or backwards may be different. Um, and this is explained quite easily, for example, with this lens that I have in here. This is an older uh, manual lens that has IR focus marks. And you may notice, you know, the white light, the white line is actually the normal focus mark. Um, you know, so wherever you focus, that's where you focus, no matter where you are in the zoom range. But for infrared, as you can see, depending where you are in the focus, uh, in the zoom range, the amount of focus shift is different. So, for example, if you were set, you had your camera or lens set to 85 millimeters, uh, basically the f amount of focus shift you'd have to make is you'd have to make it all the way to this, this third 85 millimeter focus mark. So, say you focused on infinity, right? So you take this infinity that's lines up with the normal focus mark, and you would move it over to line up with your 85 millimeter IR focus mark, and you would do the same thing if you depending if you were for example on two, zoomed in on the 205 millimeters, then you would shift that infinity mark only to this IR 205 millimeter mark, which is an, a lot smaller shift than on the wide end, the 85 millimeter end. So as you can see, the focus in IR is different depending where you are in the zoom range. And here's another lens that would explain this in a different way. Uh, basically, it's a push-pull a zoom lens, so it actually has a curve for an IR focus mark instead of just a single line. And this explains that at 85 millimeters, the focus shift is uh, a lot further to the right than it is on the 200 millimeters, which kind of is a lot closer to the normal focus mark. So depending where you sh zoom, your focus is different. And unfortunately, the newer lenses, like this uh, you know, newer Canon lens, doesn't have an IR focus mark or a series of marks. It just has the normal focusing mark. So basically in IR, when we do a focus calibration, we calibrate a particular lens just for the wide end of the spectrum, you know, uh, whichever lens that you have. Because most IR photography is, down, is done on, um, on at, at the wide angle, so you can capture the overall scene, you know, you, you the landscape or other foliage and, or anything else like that. So if you zoom your, if it's a zoom lens that you sent in, and you zoom in a little bit, the focus might be shifted even though that we've calibrated the lens already. And if you pop on a different lens, the amount of focus that other lens would re may require may be completely different than the lens for which the camera was calibrated. So the focus might be off completely. And uh, unfortunately, with a lens, say we would calibrate the camera for a lens that requires quite a bit of focus shift uh, in recalibration. Since we've changed this focus shift internally, so it, pro uh, calib uh, so it focuses properly without needing a shift you know, manually when you're focusing, then basically you put on another lens that has a lot less IR focus shift. And what's going to happen is because we have already a pretty large shift internally made, then your lens will not be capable of shooting at infinity because it cannot physically shift further than the infinity mark, you know. So for this reason, it is imperative that you use the lens that your calibration was set for. Otherwise, you may experience, uh, you know, the inability to focus at uh, infinity. And that, of course, other lenses, the focus shift is so great that no matter what we do, we can't calibrate for it. So for that reason, we don't really do those lenses, or basically we'll let you know that you know, this lens cannot be calibrated for focus. So basically, um, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful uh, in answering some of your questions.